Hello everyone and welcome back to our channel. Before we start with today's video, don't forget to follow us on Instagram where we post daily polls, facts and live videos. Soon enough we will also provide our documentaries there. We want to keep this introduction short so without further ado, let's get into the video. Leila Zana is today known as the strong independent politician who with her actions defied the Turkish society. For a specific occasion she was imprisoned for 15 years. Her struggle for the Kurdish cause but also the oppression towards women have made Leila Zana iconic among nationalists and other Kurdish women. And today we will go back in time to find out who Leila Zana really were and what her story was all about. So. Let's travel back in time to the beginning of the 1960s, more exactly 3rd of May 1961, when a girl was born in the Kurdish village of Bashe, close to the Kurdish city of Ahmed in Turkish-occupied Kurdistan. This girl would be named Leila and would grow up in a traditional and conservative family, strictly ruled under religious laws at home. Leila often defied the rules that her family set for the house, calling them unfair and too strict. Her siblings described her as the rebellion child in the family. Leila was early introduced into Turkey's religious and patriarchal norms. She evolved a side of her who wanted to make a difference. It simply became obvious to go against the existing norms. When Leila was a young teen, the family wanted her to wear a hijab to cover the hair. Leila refused however she would eventually take on the hijab after the first marriage. In time, Leila refused to keep the hijab and were soon seen without it again. At the time she was uneducated since she, due to family repressions, only had attended school for one and a half year. Her traditional and strict father was under the impression that women didn't need to educate themselves and instead they should stay at home to learn how to take care of the house. Leila was forbidden from attending school even after her several tries to attend school against her family's will. When Leila was 14 years old, she married Mehdi Zana, another traditional family decision. Leila now adopted her surname, Leila Zana. Mehdi Zana, Leila's new husband, was also Leila's cousin. He was 20 years older than Leila. The frustration from Leila was enormous, something that she explained in an interview in 2005. It even went so far that she once slapped her father. In the interview from 2005 though, Leila made it clear that the frustration wasn't pointed towards her family or husband, but more against the social norms which existed and still exist in Kurdistan. The relationship with Mehdi Zana made Leila interested in politics. Mehdi Zana was himself a popular Kurdish politician. He learned Leila the basics in Turkish politics. Soon enough, Leila was exposed to the Turkish oppression towards the Kurds in Baku, Turkish occupied Kurdistan. <laughs> This made Leila more and more active within Kurdish questions. Soon, Leila and Mehdi Zana moved to the city of Ahmed, also known as Diyarbakir. The city was the centrum of Kurdish resistance in Baku. In 1976, their first son was born, Runai Zana. In 1977, Mehdi Zana was chosen mayor in Ahmed after receiving a majority of the votes. The situation between Kurds and Turkey was relatively calm, but something was in the air. In 1980, the conflict started again as Turkey had its third military coup. The coup resulted in increasing oppression towards the Kurds. Mehdi Zana and thousands of others were arrested as a result of their political commitment. Mehdi was sentenced to 30 years of prison in which he was exposed to a lot of torture. Many Kurdish prisoners were also executed by the Turkish state. For the first time in life, Leila Zana was on her own. Out of 30 years, Mehdi served 15 of them as Leila Zana followed him during his different transportations between different jails in Turkey. 
During these 15 years, Leila learned fluent Turkish and with the guidance of her husband, she studied on her own and became the first woman in Turkey to complete a high school exam without attending school. Din otu yeki da dve kampanya Leyla Frederik Kurdistan'a gir ya nebten ile Ahmet'e le Cizire le Şırnak'e le hatta Batman hatta Seyit o hatta Merdin ile her deri gir ya bir tane bir Kürdi haberdar Leyla. In 1991, Leyla Zana became the first Kurdish woman in the parliament. For the Kurds, this was something enormous, as Kurds always has been excluded from Turkish politics. Being a woman was also something unusual in the Turkish parliament. Leyla was on her way up on stage to swear the oath. She had a hairband with the Kurdish colors red, yellow and green. The other politicians in the parliament noticed this and immediately started to interrupt and shout at Leyla Zana. Leyla started the oath in Turkish but finished it off with a sentence in Kurdish, something that was unthinkable and forbidden at the time. At that time in 1991, Kurdish was forbidden by law in both private and public occasions. She said the following, starting with Turkish, I swear in honor and conscience before the mighty Turkish people to protect the integrity and independence of the state and the unity of the people and the country and the sovereignty of the indisputable people. I swear loyalty to the constitution. She then finished by saying the following in Kurdish, I swear this oath for the brotherhood between the Turkish and the Kurdish people. The Turkish politicians couldn't handle the situation and reacted with aggressive violence towards Leyla, but she stood under parliamentary protection at least for a short moment. In theory, the parliament protection meant that nobody could touch her. To come around this, the court forbid the party that she worked for, and therefore her protection became invalid. Thank you. 
She was arrested by the Turkish police and her case was noticed by Amnesty International as she won a lot of prizes for her commitment. In 1994, she won the Raftu Prize and in 1995, she won the Zakharov Prize. However, she wasn't able to receive any of these due to her imprisonment. In 1998, the Turkish court extended her imprisonment. They claimed that she had published a letter through a Kurdish newspaper where she had written separatist opinions. During the European Union negotiations between the European Union and Turkey, the demands of Leyla's release was clarified. Turkey refused in the beginning, but the European Union didn't back down on this point, and in 2004 she was released from prison. Leyla was totally imprisoned for 10 years. Later on, she witnessed about torture and humiliation of her human rights in prison. In 2008, Leila Zana said, the Kurds have three leaders, Masur Barzani, Jalal Talabani, and Abdullah Öcalan. For this, the Turkish state accused her for cooperating with terror organizations. The same year, Turkey banned DTP, a Kurdish party in which Zana was active in. They claimed that the party had close ties with the PKK. Leila Zana and 30 other politicians were closed down from politics for five years. In 2012, Leyla Zana met with Erdogan. The meeting was decided after that Leyla was positive towards Erdogan's leadership, claiming that he had the potential to solve the problems between Turks and Kurds. Her words were criticized by Kurds, but welcomed by the Turkish government. It is important to know though, that most crimes that Erdogan performed towards the Kurds came years after the meeting between Leyla and Erdogan. A few years later, Zana joined a new Kurdish party in Baku. HDP. In 2016, Zana was once again arrested with politicians from HDP accused of affiliations with the PKK. As a result of this, she missed over 200 sessions in the parliament and therefore members from the leading party AKP voted to exclude her parliamentary membership. This documentary is partly based on the book Writings from Prison by Leila Zana. If you want to know more about her story, we really recommend this book. Don't forget to like this video, comment your opinion down below and hit the subscribe button make sure you don't miss any further videos on this channel.